auction, the stop the video. All right, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Hey y'all, it's Cassidy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, bring it in. If you're, if you're old, bring it in too. All right y'all, so today I wanted to show you guys how to shoot the best of the best quality looking professional cinematic looking footage from your phone. I think right now is the perfect time to just be home and create and get those channels started that you always want to start and those different ventures that you always want to go for even just to learn a new skill or hobby. I think now is the perfect time for that. So I really wanted to go in depth with a producing on iPhone series where I really break down for you guys how to film on your iPhone, edit on your iPhone, color grade on your iPhone, all the way down to actually uploading straight to YouTube on your phone. I always tell people and I always say this in my videos that you can literally get started with what you have in your hand. So the first thing you guys need to do when you're shooting on your iPhone is making sure that your phone has the proper camera settings for whatever you're trying to shoot. In order to do this, if you guys follow along, you can follow along on my screen here. You're going to go into settings. So settings and then you're going to look for camera. Once you're selected on camera, you're going to look for record video. Also, the grid. Um, my grid's already turned on right here, but I would suggest turning on your grid because it helps you to lay out your shots better. So if you're trying to have the subject centered, off to the left, off to the right, more headspace, so lower the subject, then the grid kind of helps you out with gauging where the subject is in the frame. Um, so you can turn that on as well, and I would highly suggest that. What we're looking for is record video. So if you select record video, then you have different options here. You have 720 HD at 30 frames per second, all the way down to 4K at 60 frames per second. So that first number you see, you guys, is the quality of the video. So all the options that I have specifically on the iPhone XS Max are HD options. And I think a lot of iPhones, I had the iPhone 7 before this, also had various HD options. So no matter what you select, you're going to get very high definition, high quality video. But obviously the 4K is going to be the highest quality video that you can get then the frames per second just depends on how many frames that the camera is taking per second so if you guys weren't aware video is just a bunch of pictures happening um, so that's how many pictures it's taking a second so if you were to do 30 frames per second which is pretty standard for like a phone video then every second it's taking 30 different pictures um, if you were to do something that's 60 frames per second then obviously it's taking a lot more pictures in that second but that's better when you're doing slow motion video. So a lot of times you may try to do slow motion, you upload it into iMovie or Final Cut, you slow it down and it looks a little choppy. That's because you're not filming with enough frames for it to slow down. So you're basically just slowing down all the pictures that you took. So if you are taking slow-mo, you want to go at 60 frames per second or more to get the smoothest looking slow motion there. Is. And then you have 24 frames per second as an option on here as well. 24 frames is what a standard movie is shot at. So typically when you're watching a movie, shot at 24 frames per second. So if I was shooting something that was slow motion, but I wanted it to be really high quality, maybe I'm at the beach and I want to shoot the ocean in slow-mo, then I would go for 4K so I get the highest definition and I get 60 frames per second so I can slow it down. But you know, just remember this is iPhone and a phone with limited storage amount and that will take up the most storage in your phone. So they'll shoot everything at 4K 60 frames per second. You gotta choose, y'all. Also at the very bottom here, it tells you, you know, basically a summarization of what I just said, why you would use each thing. So I just did a video at 4K, so I wanted to be high quality, 24 frames per second, because I wanted it to be at the film speed. So just kind of decide how you're gonna record your video, select that baby, and you're all good with step one. You now have your camera set up and you can open your camera application. So once you're in video mode on your camera, you should now see the grid lines if you turn on the grid lines and you should also see at the top where it says what you're shooting. So if you're shooting 4K 24, 1080p 60 frames and it should say that up there as well. So that's also gonna kind of help you if you're planning on shooting slow motion and you forgot to switch it in camera settings, then it's there for you. Um, so you can remember when you do get into the camera app. So now I'm gonna give you just kind of some basics that go into shooting anything on your iPhone, whether you're shooting a YouTube video, a film, a music video. Um, I've shot all three of my iPhones, so um, these are definitely things that you can shoot and get really good quality footage from, from your phone. Um, so the first thing that I wanna suggest is shooting in landscape mode, so that's the direction of this video, most YouTube videos is gonna be sideways, so your phone is going to be 
this way this is typically how you want to shoot for something that's cinematic unless you're really going for the vertical look for instagram tv or something very specific then you definitely want to shoot with your phone sideways basic features that that the iphone provides a is focusing so if you're in the camera app and you just tap the screen then you'll from there see the focus feature so a yellow box will pop up and whatever you tap on you're focusing on um, so there's not a lot of too much depth of field on the iPhone, so that's kind of like that portrait mode feature that gets your background out of focus when you go into video. Obviously, there's no video portrait mode quite yet, um, but if you do get really close to something and you tap and focus in on it, then typically it will blur out your background a little bit for you. Um, so it just depends on how close you are to your subject, but... From there, you can focus on whatever you need to focus on. If you're trying to focus on the background, get the subject out of focus, and you have that option by just tapping there. If you tap and hold and then slide up or slide down, then you can now manipulate exposure. So the exposure is how much light you're letting in. So maybe you're outside, it's really bright, you need to turn down the light, or vice versa. You're inside, it's super dark, you need to turn the light up. Then you can actually manipulate exposure straight from that screen. The last kind of basic information I want to give out is that if you have the focus set, you have the exposure set, it looks good, and your iPhone is trying to change everything and make it perfect every second, and you're like, no, I had it perfect, then you can do AEAF, which is um, AEAF lock, which basically locks autofocus and auto exposure. So it stops your iPhone from automatically trying to guess what the best settings are when you've already set the best settings. And to do that, you just press and hold that yellow square. You see that lock option pop up and it will stay on the exposure and focus that you have selected. So those are kind of some basic features that are in the phone that you may or may not have already known about that are already in the camera available for you to use, but can really change up the professional quality of whatever you're shooting. Cool. Cool. So the next thing I want to talk about is shot types. So I think pretty standard when people first think about or start to pick up a camera, you pretty much stick with certain sh like, you know, typically people will stick with more wide shots, um, just get a certain shot and not really vary how th they're moving the shot or anything. So some suggestions I want to make is that when you're filming, think about doing different movements. So you can do a pan, so you can slide. Maybe you're coming in, you're doing a makeup tutorial and or get ready with me in the morning and it's coming in on you doing your um, skin routine. Then you can have someone pan and then they end on you. So panning is just any side to side movement. If you don't have like a gimbal or a tripod to hold your phone, then you can just hold your elbows really close to your body and then get a pretty steady pan that way. There's also the tilt movement that's moving the phone up and down. So maybe you're filming like a lookbook or something, or you're introducing a new character in your film that you may want to start at their feet and come up, or you can even start like at the sky, come down and look at them, or you can even end a film that way. I always like to end a lot of films where we're on a character and then we end up in the sky. So that's when you would use that tilting motion. So just kind of think about more movements pan, tilt, you can circle something. There's so many different movements. You can look at your favorite movies, see what kind of camera movements they use, and try them out with your phone. Some other things you guys can do is different angles. Like I said, a lot of people like to stick to kind of one more wide shot, get the full body or get the close up, but also you can vary. You can get full body, you can get close up, you can get extreme close ups on an object or a part of a person. Um, you can get a profile view, which is from the side. You can get three fourths, a medium close up. Like you can get so many different angles of something and you can get so many different angles of the same thing and then kind of chop it off and play with it. You can get from um, worm eye view, which is like just something from the ground. If something was looking at you from the ground, you can shoot up high from bird's eye view. Um, so there's so many different angles you can play around with to really keep your audience's attention. And like I said, again, you can look at your favorite movies, see what kind of angles they play with. You can give someone a lot of headspace um, if you really like that aesthetic. You can play around with the grid and have every character, no character ever stands in the center frame of the grid. Um, you can have a lot of fun with it. So you guys can kind of play with different shot movements and shot types, which are really going to engage your audience and let you have a lot of fun kind of really planning a film that you're shooting on your phone. So the last thing that I kind of want to go into for this um, is just different accessories and things that you can add on to really give it that 
oomph. Like, if you follow those tips, I think you guys will have some really great content, but these will just give it kind of that extra oomph. So the first thing I really wanted to mention was lighting. So of course you guys have the available lighting like the sun, um, any lamps or anything that you may have already have available. Then those should pre create really cool lighting techniques. I can even make a video on lighting with things that are around your house or things that you already have. You guys can play around with having a single lamp on, having the room pitch black. You can play around with lighting just one side of a face. So the other side is a shadow. You can actually, like I said, play around with using the sun, maybe play around with shadows in the sun. So half the person is standing in the shadow and half the person is in the sun. Um, so with lighting, there's a lot of different stuff you can do to portray whatever mood that your film or video is trying to portray. And you can do a lot with available lighting or you can, of course, go out and buy additional lighting. Um, if you want, you can get portable lights. They make ring lights now that stick to phones or you can just get a regular ring light. Um, you can use a softbox. <laughs> there's so many different lighting options. Um, so you guys can definitely play around with that lighting to really, you know, get a feel and a mood for whatever you're filming. The other thing I want to say is accessories such as the phone gimbal, which I mentioned earlier. So there are things that you can add to your phone, which is like a gimbal. So when you're doing movement, it's stabilized and it's steady movement. Um, I have a gimbal for my main camera. I don't have one for my phone. You can also get a tripod for your phone or if you have something that can mount to a tripod, if you already have a tripod, then you just need a phone mount for that tripod. Um, me personally, I actually got one off a selfie stick. Got a selfie stick and realized it has the same screw as my tripod and I just unscrewed it and that's how I connect my phone to a tripod if I need to connect it to a tripod so you guys can even look around see if you have any old selfie sticks that unscrew and can screw onto a tripod. Um, you can even simply just lay your phone against some kind of steady surface like some books or I literally laid my phone on a candle today um, to shoot a scene so whatever you need to do to keep your phone steady there's accessories for it but you can also use what's available. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys really learned the basics for getting started and filming on your iPhone. You guys now know the proper camera settings to set up on your camera. Um, little basics that you can do while you're in the camera app, different movements and shot types that you can attempt while you're out filming, as well as any additional accessories you can add on. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any other videos that you really want to see, make sure to comment them down below. Also comment what you thought of this video. And I hope you guys get started filming some content on your iPhone. Next, I'll go into editing on your phone. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Love y'all. Peace out.